Ever wondered how we unlocked the secrets of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs? The answer lies in a single stone. In the late 18th century, specifically in 1799, a remarkable artifact was discovered in Egypt, known as the Rosetta Stone. This stone, not particularly remarkable in its appearance, held the key to deciphering the mysterious language of the pharaohs, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. But how did it do so? Well, the Rosetta Stone features a decree issued by King Ptolemy V, written in three scripts. Ancient Greek, which was still understood in 1799, Demotic script, a sort of shorthand for ancient Egyptian, and lastly, the enigmatic ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. By comparing these scripts, scholars were finally able to crack the code of hieroglyphs, opening the door to a wealth of knowledge about one of history's greatest civilizations. Without the Rosetta Stone, the rich history of ancient Egypt might have remained a mystery. Imagine a city frozen in time, its daily life preserved for thousands of years. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, spewing a monstrous cloud of stones, ash and fumes into the atmosphere. The Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum, nestled at the foot of the volcano, were buried beneath a thick layer of volcanic material. This catastrophic event, however, had an unexpected silver lining. The volcanic ash acted as a remarkable preservative, freezing these cities in time. It created a snapshot of daily life in ancient Rome that has endured for nearly two millennia. From the frescoes on the walls of luxurious villas, to the graffiti scribbled in a marketplace, these ruins offer an unparalleled look into the lives of our ancestors. They reveal the foods they ate, the games they played, even the jokes they told. Every brick and artifact tells a story, painting a vivid picture of a civilization long gone. Through tragedy, Pompeii and Herculaneum give us a rare glimpse into the past. Thousands of clay soldiers stand guard in an ancient emperor's tomb. This silent army was unearthed in China back in 1974, an astonishing discovery that shed light on the grandeur of a bygone era. Each soldier, chariot and horse was meticulously crafted out of terracotta, a type of earthenware, and buried alongside the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. But why such an elaborate burial? It was believed that these clay warriors would protect the emperor in the afterlife, demonstrating the ancient beliefs about death and the hereafter. The Terracotta Army, a testament to the artistic finesse and spiritual convictions of the Qin Dynasty, provides a window into the past, revealing the extent of human endeavor and belief. This colossal army, frozen in time, continues to guard the resting place of their emperor, waiting for a battle that will never come. In death as in life, Emperor Qin Shi Huang commanded an impressive army. Before the pyramids, before Stonehenge, there was Gobekli Tepe. Nestled in the hills of southeastern Turkey, Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological marvel that dates back to around 9,600 BCE. That's 6,000 years older than Stonehenge. It's a site that challenges everything we thought we knew about the dawn of civilization. What makes Gobekli Tepe so remarkable? Imagine a society of hunter-gatherers, yet to embrace farming, who somehow managed to construct a series of complex structures. These are not simple dwellings, mind you, but intricate circles of massive, T-shaped pillars, many of which are carved with detailed images of animals and abstract symbols. The level of sophistication and organization required to create Gobekli Tepe suggests that our ancestors were capable of far more than previously believed. This site serves as a reminder that history is full of surprises and that our understanding of the past is always evolving. Gobekli Tepe pushes back the boundaries of what we thought ancient humans could achieve. High in the Andes, a lost city reveals the secrets of the Inca civilization. In the year 1911, an American historian named Hiram Bingham stumbled upon the ruins of a forgotten city while in search of the lost Incan capital, Vilcabamba. What he discovered was Machu Picchu, a marvel of ancient architecture nestled in the steep mountains of Peru. The city was remarkably well preserved, with over 200 buildings, temples and sanctuaries seemingly untouched by time. This discovery provided an unprecedented look into the Inca civilization, known for their advanced architectural techniques and cultural practices. The intricate stonework, 
terraced fields, and sophisticated water distribution system are testament to the Inca's ingenuity and adaptability to the harsh Andean environment. Machu Picchu is an extraordinary testament to a civilization that thrived more than five centuries ago, yet its purpose remains shrouded in mystery. From royal estate to sacred retreat, various theories abound. Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas, continues to captivate us with its beauty and mystery. A circle of stones in England holds the key to ancient ceremonial practices. Welcome to Stonehenge, a renowned prehistoric monument that has been a subject of fascination and debate for centuries. This architectural marvel, made up of massive stones arranged in a circular pattern, stands as a testimony to the ingenious skills of our ancestors. The purpose of Stonehenge, however, is still shrouded in mystery. Some theories propose it was a site for spiritual rituals, while others suggest it served as an astronomical observatory. Regardless of its original intent, it's clear that Stonehenge played a crucial role in the ceremonies and traditions of the ancient world. Equally intriguing is the question of how it was constructed. How did prehistoric people, without the aid of modern technology, transport and erect these huge stones? This conundrum continues to puzzle historians and archaeologists, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the capabilities of early humans. Stonehenge remains one of the most iconic and enigmatic monuments of our ancient past. Hidden in caves, ancient texts shed light on the beliefs and practices of ancient Judaism. Enter the Dead Sea Scrolls, a collection of Jewish texts discovered in the 1940s and 1950s in 11 caves around the archaeological site of Qumran. These texts, some of them over 2,000 years old, are of immense historical and religious significance. Why, you ask? Well, the scrolls provide us with the earliest known copies of the Hebrew Bible, apart from other Jewish texts and documents of the time. They give us a rare glimpse into the religious practices, beliefs and diversity of ancient Judaism, and they also have implications for our understanding of the origins of Christianity. These time-worn scrolls, written on papyrus, parchment and even copper, reflect the spiritual life of a community living on the fringe of the Judean desert, preserving their sacred texts from the ravages of time and human conflict. The Dead Sea Scrolls offer a window into the spiritual life of an ancient people. A young king's tomb unveils the wealth and power of Egypt's new kingdom. In the year 1922, a British archaeologist named Howard Carter stumbled upon a door leading to the final resting place of a boy king, Tutankhamun. This discovery, hidden in the Valley of the Kings, was a treasure trove that revealed the opulence of ancient Egypt. As Carter peered into the tomb's darkness, he was met with glimmers of gold. The tomb was filled to the brim with riches, from golden chariots and statues, to jewel-encrusted furniture and weapons. Even the king's death mask, a stunning piece of craftsmanship, was made of solid gold. These treasures were not just wealth, they were symbols of power and divine connection, shedding light on the religious and political significance of the pharaohs. They provided a rare and intimate glimpse into the life and death of a young king who ruled over 3,000 years ago. The boy King Tutankhamun continues to fascinate us, his golden mask a symbol of ancient Egypt's grandeur. A legendary city immortalized in epic poems turns out to be real. Welcome to the Saga of Troy, a tale where mythology and history intertwine. In the late 19th century, archaeologists undertook excavations that would have profound implications for our understanding of the past. Their spades hit upon the remnants of a city, which they believed was the same one that Homer had vividly described in his epic poems, the Iliad and the Odyssey. This discovery was no less than a revelation. It suggested that the Trojan War, previously considered a mere product of Greek mythology, might have been a historical event. The excavations unearthed layers of civilizations, indicating the city had been built and destroyed multiple times. These findings validated the existence of Troy, linking the realms of myth and history, and proving that stories passed down through generations could indeed be rooted in reality. The ruins of Troy stand as a testament to the power of storytelling and the search for truth. In a cave in France, prehistoric paintings bring the world of our ancestors to life. Imagine stumbling upon a veritable time capsule, an echo from the distant past. 
That's precisely what happened in 1940, when four teenagers discovered the Lascaux cave paintings. These aren't just any doodles, they're intricate works of art, vivid depictions of animals and hunting scenes that offer a glimpse into the lives and beliefs of our Paleolithic ancestors. From majestic stags to wild bulls, the cave walls are awash with over 600 animal representations, each one a testament to the skill and creativity of our forebears. These paintings tell us that our ancestors weren't merely focused on survival. They also found time to appreciate the beauty around them and express it through art. The Lascaux cave paintings are more than just a historic find. They're a poignant reminder of our shared human journey, a testament to our enduring spirit. The Lascaux cave paintings remind us that the urge to create and communicate is as old as humanity itself. From a single stone to entire cities, archaeology offers a fascinating journey into our past. The Rosetta Stone, for instance, became the key to deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, while the preserved ruins of Pompeii and Herculaneum offer us a snapshot of daily life in a Roman city. The Terracotta Army provides insights into ancient burial customs, and Gobekli Tepe challenges our preconceptions about the dawn of civilization. Machu Picchu stands as a testament to Incan architectural genius, and the enigmatic Stonehenge continues to intrigue us with its ceremonial purpose. The Dead Sea Scrolls reveal the spiritual beliefs of ancient Judaism. The treasures of Tutankhamun's tomb provide a glimpse into the opulence of Egypt's new kingdom, and the city of Troy confirms the historical reality of Homer's epic poems. Lastly, the Lascaux cave paintings offer vivid insights into the lives of Paleolithic humans. As we continue to dig and discover who knows what secrets the past still holds for us,